My mom was diagnosed with metastatic melanoma. Uh, it would have been April of 2020. We were here, flew home immediately. Uh, it was a terminal diagnosis. The uh, origin of the cancer was melanoma that we found out. And just a quick five months later, she had passed away, September 8th of 2020. You know, the loss of Janet has been super impactful for our family. Um, you know, it was kind of like a second mom to me for sure. You know, when you have kids of your own, it definitely changes things in a sense of, it's hard to when they're little, but you know, treat it like it's the last day you're gonna see them type thing. And I hopefully one day when it, it sets in for them, you know, it's impacted us. You know, we're trying to be positive about it. You know, we think about her every day. The story about Save Your Skin Foundation, we were sitting on this couch actually, and um, he had a DM for Cameo. And he had been approached a couple times and we thought of the idea to raise money through Cameo and all the proceeds go to Save Your Skin. Once we, they, people found out about the cause, I think it made it, uh, you know, it was a great fit for, for us and it made it like a no-brainer decision for us. So. Uh, Save Your Skin Foundation started in 2006 uh, after my very long battle with uh, metastatic melanoma. So we started the charity. I live in North Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, we started very small and humble, but we were able to do a lot uh, with a little. And to date now, we are not only across Canada and the largest melanoma organization, but we are actually across the globe. Somehow, some way, my mom's diagnosis to meeting the founder of Save Your Skin uh, came full circle on that. And uh, I thought to myself, a Canadian foundation that's tied in with my mom to a great woman. Uh, let's see how much money we can raise. And I feel like Kathy was so informative really taught us a lot about the disease. Well, I have to tell you, the Min Millers, we had seen them come up on a Google feed uh, that they had mentioned Save Your Skin, and we were absolutely intrigued because they're the Millers. So I was able to reach out to them, and I ended up having a lovely chat with Natalie. And I can tell you, we were thrilled uh, that they chose Save Your Skin Foundation, but by the same token, it was heart-wrenching that Natalie and I had to meet under her such sad circumstances and you know really it just reminded me of the importance of the work we do at Save Your Skin is because we really want to help families like the Millers and Natalie when they're in these situations that are absolutely life-changing for all and honestly they've really helped raise awareness of Save Your Skin Foundation and we couldn't have done it without them. Yeah we've definitely had a lot of people reach out to um both you and myself and um, talk about how sharing my mom's story, donating towards the foundation, kind of bringing light to any foundation that we post about uh, means lots of them, parents, kids, aunts, uncles, uh, everybody has somebody who's affected by cancer. But I've always believed that it takes a team, it takes a village, it takes a community and I think I've proven that uh, with the success of Save Your Skin. And we just all want to give back and play it forward. But I think honestly, having the Canucks and the NHL help us raise awareness of melanoma is an incredible service to the community and to your fans. So December 3rd, that's gonna be a big night for us. Um, you know, a, a, a game that becomes more and more special every year for my family and I. Um, you know, as soon as you get to the rink in the morning with the uh, with the purple jerseys and the purple tape in the room to put on our sticks for warm-ups. Um, it's just a reminder that there's a lot more things going on in our crazy lives that we're in and a lot of people that we're playing this sport for. And, you know, especially Janet and Natalie's mom, it's just a constant reminder of, um, you know, she's gonna be a big part of our game that night and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people in our locker room that's gonna be affected by this.